girl back for another video. I did a video um, earlier today um, about Congressman John Lewis and all these other Democrats that are, you know, whether celebrities or congressmen coming out, you know, saying all these horrible things about Trump when they haven't done a damn thing to help our inner cities or the black community. Because they're all coming out saying that Donald Trump's not going to do anything for the black community. The man's been in office 24 hours and he's talking about doing more for the black community than Obama did in the past eight years. Democrats today are doing nothing for the black community. You know, John Lewis, he was a civil uh, rights leader back in the day, but I got to think back 50 years to think of something good he's done for the black community because he hasn't done shit recently, not only for the black community, but for anybody. So anyways, this is basically a continuation of the video I did earlier today that I've already uploaded. Um, I just forgot to mention a few things or I wanted to go in more detail about it you know, about the Russia hacking. I just turned on the news and once again, it flashed across CNN that they have proof that Russia did in fact hack the election. They just will not give it up with the whole Russia hacking. I just wanna make this clear. Um, John Lewis stated that Hillary Clinton lost the election because of Russian hacking and that they influenced, you know, America's decision on voting for her and that um, they basically ruined her candidacy. Hillary Clinton sabotaged and ruined her own image and her own campaign. Hillary Clinton lost because she was a poor candidate. End of story. Hillary Clinton did not lose because of uh, Russian hacking. That is something they made up. Was she... Um, hacked i guess technically she was but not by russia julian assage um did leak the emails the private emails from hillary clinton john podesta and the dnc um he brought forward information to the public domain that was horrifying just absolutely horrifying if any of you actually took the time to go to wikileaks.com and read the emails and research and understand what's been going on and what these Democrats have been doing, you ought to be horrified like I am and absolutely scared out of your mind that they almost were running, they almost had the chance to run our country again. You know, they, Obama was in office the past eight years, but the notion of them being in office even another year was, should be horrifying to you. But most of you liberals haven't even taken the time to go read the emails. All you do is take what the media regurgitates to you. And I said that in my last video. That's all you do. You didn't even go, most of you probably didn't even go listen to, um, you know, any of the leaked audio from when Donald Trump made those comments about women. The media has completely twisted his words. And, you know, you didn't listen to that and you didn't go look up the WikiLeaks. Take the time and do your own research. Don't take their word for everything. They're brainwashing you. They're doing this for a reason. So you will go out in the street, tear shit up and act a fool, um, you know, and try to sabotage Trump's presidency. But all you're doing is hurting yourself because you're not going to change a thing. Trump is still going to be president whether you like it or not. You know, that's it is what it is now. Anyways, so technically they were hacked, yes. All of the, you know, horrifying information and all the bad things they were doing was brought to light. But you should be grateful it was brought to light. I'm grateful it was brought to light. I knew about these things long before WikiLeaks came out, but I remember telling people about it and they thought I was crazy. It was nice that it was pu you know, published and put in the public domain for everyone to see. And a lot of people have come to me and said, wow, you were right about a lot of that stuff. And and I was, I've known about it a long time. But uh, anyways, you should be not only horrified, but I don't see how anyone could even support Hillary Clinton after everything that they read in the WikiLeaks, you know? And instead of the media taking, you know, the emails and saying, you know, yes, we did those things. All they're trying to do is say we were hacked by Russia. You know, Russia did it. It's just ridiculous, absurd. They're just blaming Russia for everything, you know. But 
Hillary Clinton did not lose the election because they were hacked by Russia. You know, that's completely absurd. That did not happen. They lost the election because their email uh, information was brought to the public domain and we were able, you know, to read and see what they were doing. And that changed a lot of people's minds about um, the Democrats. So, so yeah, I guess technically they were hacked, but it wasn't by Russia. Julian Assange, we can thank him for bringing forth that information for us to see. Any of you liberals out there who are going to argue with me about this, take the time and go read the WikiLeaks. Take the time and go do your research. You know, instead of just trying to yell, scream, and curse and and call me names, go do your research and then come back and tell me I'm wrong. But at least go, you know, read the information first and go take a moment, you know, to go research something. When people tell me things about Trump, I actually will go research it. I've heard a lot of people say, well, he was endorsed by the KKK. So I went and researched that, and that is not true. The KKK tried to endorse him, and he denounced it. He denounced them more than once, actually. So, and then some of you have said, well, he hates women. He's, he's a misogynist pig and all this stuff. And he made these horrible comments about grabbing women by the genitals and how he loves to go around and I hope you're ready for him to grab you by the genitals. Well, I went and listened to the audio and in fact, he did not say he likes to go around and grab women by the genitals. He was speaking about women throwing themselves at him because he has a lot of money and that he could grab them um, by the pussy if he wanted to, you know, and that uh, women would let him just because he has so much money and he's 100% right about that. Women do do those kind of things when a man has a lot of uh, money. So I went and looked that up and that was debunked. You know, people are calling Trump a racist, but yet he's the only one that came down here to New Orleans to help people when we had the bad flood last year when all the blacks down here lost their homes because it was majority of them was black people. And he actually came down here and was passing out food, water, diapers, and supplies. Again, to predominantly black people because this is mostly a black city. You know, Obama didn't come down. Hillary Clinton didn't, you know. Uh, he went down to Haiti last September to help them because the Clintons stole all their damn donations through the Clinton Foundation from the 2012 earthquake. They're still struggling down there. Donald Trump is the only one that went down there to help them. So your theory that he's racist, that's been debunked. You know, I could never f go find anything on him you know, that you liberals keep saying that he's done. Everything that you keep selling to me about Donald Trump is just something you heard on the news. You know, you even say it the way the news says it. It's, it's worded the same way you heard it from CNN and all these other uh, left-wing media. Stop letting them control your mind. Get off the Democratic plantation. They are the party of slavery. They're trying to divide the nation, which they've done a pretty good job of it. Um, calm down. You know, we can disagree on things. You don't have to yell, scream, and curse. You know, it's just it's just ridiculous what they've done to people, especially these young millennials. Um, I find they're the hardest to deal with, the young, especially liberal millennials. But anyways, I just wanted to make that clear. Russia did not hack the election. I can't believe these Democrats would rather risk getting us into a nuclear war with Russia trying to blame them for losing the election than to just take their lick they lost and they can come back in four years you know and and talk their little game that they normally do and and try to get elected again but they would rather try to get us in a war and sabotage donald trump when he won fair and square donald trump won because he was a better candidate donald trump won even though they were uh, proven to have rigged the election. The DNC was rigging the election. Okay, it was proven. And he still won. That just goes to show you. And then the media wouldn't even air his rallies. They were trying to make it seem like Clinton had all these people at her rallies. It was proven that his rallies were filling up stadiums, football stadiums. Clinton couldn't even fill up a damn... Uh, a small bedroom, you know, she hardly had anybody at her rallies. They were filming her up close to make it look like she had all these people. I mean, they, they went out of their way 
to uh, sabotage Trump and make Clinton look good. And, and Clinton still lost because she was a bad candidate, fair and square, you know. So I just wanted to make that clear. I'm going to let you all go. I will see you back on my next video. Bye.